to my YouTube channel. I hope you've subscribed and if you haven't, click the button below and join in on all the fun. Today's episode is going to be meeting the team. Let's have some fun. Okay, we are ready to go for the day. Dogs are in the car, bags are in the car. I made myself a quick little smoothie so that I can have breakfast on the go. While I'm holding this guy over here, let me introduce him. This is George, our youngest, our youngest animal on the farm. He is a Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> He's getting quite heavy. My arms are getting a bit tired. He is quite the character. Yeah, he loves to joke around. He irritates every animal on the property. And he is just the cutest. <laughs> this is the special William Cavendish. He is a very big thoroughbred. <laughs> he is only four years old. Um, we called him Gamble because I took a huge gamble on him when I bought him. I fell in love with him over the stable door and I, the owners phoned me to say, he's coming off the track. He doesn't want to be a racehorse anymore. Do I want him? So I said, yes, I'll have him. And at the time I was actually in hospital. So I sent my mom and the grooms to go fetch him. So when I got home from hospital, he was in the camp. So Long-term plans with him is I want to bring him on a little bit and most likely sell him. I do enjoy producing the younger horses and getting them to a really nice point and making them into really nice people for somebody to enjoy. So this is Bruce, the, our stable cat, who is actually a house cat. <laughs> He prefers the house more than the stables, but who blames him here? Got comfy beds. He loves George. George and Storm are his best friends. He plays all day long with them. He hates Alice, the other Jack Russell. He is a bit of a bully towards her. And if the, the Ridgebacks try to come inside, he smacks them and tells them to get outside. So. This is the beautiful Whiskey Cavalier. She was one of the worst injured horses in the Fairview riots that happened a while ago at the race course in PE. And she has actually just recently come out of a small camp. She's got um, a bit of Sweeney in her shoulder. So this shoulder on my side here isn't the strongest, um, but she is the most darling horse. And she really is just, she's just got the most amazing temperament. And she, I think she's actually loving being in a little bit of a bigger camp. Um, yeah, that's Whiskey. Hey, beautiful girl. Our girl Whiskey is, a, is actually already a famous YouTube girl. She had a huge wound over here. Oh, is that a bit sensitive? I'm sorry. And it's quite special because it's actually, it's healed in the shape of a cross. And if you go back into our archived videos, you'll see a lot about her and her story and where, and where she's come from and how far she's come. Whiskey is here for rehab. She isn't going to be with us forever. Her owners will eventually move her back to their stud farm. She will just live the life of being a mommy or live the life of being a retired little girl. And I can tell you that we are going to miss her so much when she does eventually leave. This is the beautiful Storm Trooper. She's also a Jack Russell Terrier. This is her favorite position to getting her tummy scratched. So like, that's my girl. <laughs> you can see by the eyes. So like, yeah. She actually was attacked a couple months ago. She, she had, well, she had four broken vertebrae and she had major 
internal damage and she's on the mend and she's getting stronger and stronger. I don't actually live on the farm anymore. I stay around the corner in a townhouse complex and Storm and George are my babies so they come with me but they come home to the farm every day just to run around and be animals in the big open space. This is Rocky, our male Ridgeback. He's also quite a character. He's gonna want scratches now. Rocky is my brother's dog. He doesn't live here on the farm anymore. He does, he lives in town. Um, but yeah, the Ridgebacks live the life. This is Abby. She's love starved, as you can see. She is very jealous and just wants to be on your lap. Oh, and there goes Storm. Storm's also a very jealous girl. This is Heatherbell's Twilight Alice. Oh, let's pick you up, my girl. She is our old, old girl. She is 11 this year. Hey, girl. Yes, and she's still the boss of the property. This is Luigi. He is my lifesaver while Charles has been away. Luigi, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Luigi. Uh, I'm 21 years old. Uh, I started Blue Steel when I was 19 years old. Uh, I went to school in Clubblad. And are you enjoying doing the horses? Yeah, I learned from the best. Uh, so I'm still uh, trying to, 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 to see where I can help with the horses. Uh, I'm still looking forward to, to learn from Charles, yeah. Yeah, well, you've, been, you've done a very good job. And you didn't have much time to learn. I think you had two weeks, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's all. But yeah. Charles learned me quite a lot about horses. Uh, but I'm still looking forward to, to learn more from Charles. He's re it's ready you can't come home now. Yeah, so Charles <laughs> must come home now. It is nice to work with horses, you see. What's your favorite part about working with horses? My favorite part working with horses is when you go away with horses, you see. It is, it is quite interesting, you see, what horses can do, you see. Like, for instance, jumping, racing. You know, uh, from that weekend, uh, I will never forget that weekend uh, when we went to Sanira. Uh, it was my first weekend away. Uh, Sharp first weekend and Babbles first away. So it was quite nice, you see. Sharp making us very proud. Uh, so I will always remember that, uh, that weekend. My first away. It was a big experience for me. Uh, with the Blue Steel team, we, we, we're quite a nice team. You get on well with everybody. I like brothers because we are all staying here on the farm. We start to get a, a, a brotherhood now. Mm. Luigi, your home language is actually Afrikaans. Yeah. But you speak very good English. Uh, my last school uh, was Afrikaans obviously, and the ones so basically he's saying that his primary school was everything was in Afrikaans and when he went to high school everything was in English which couldn't have been very easy. Winter is definitely on its way in South Africa but now that the sun is up it's getting quite warm so I'm taking my jacket off and then we're going to move on to <laughs> Bubbles. This is the beautiful Bubbles. He is my baby. His full name is actually Father Lunch is Bollinger and the, the reason he got his name Bubbles is because Bollinger is actually a type of champagne. So his stable name is Bubbles and he is only four years old. So Bubbles does enjoy playing with the dogs. And I'm, too, I'm not too sure if it's a play or more of a, a, a attack. <laughs> and I almost got stuck in the middle of that. So I'm just going to stand on this side of the fence so because all the dogs are running around. Um, yeah, I'm really, really loving producing this baby boy. I bought him when he was two and a half and he is just the most lovable. Bubbles comes from Lyndon Moore's yard, Father Lunch, a Ric Flair stables and he was actually hand reared. His mom died when he was a youngster, so he is very people friendly and he absolutely loves doing his job. And he's very intelligent, very easy to ride, but can be quite sharp. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to our adventures together and our future. What are you doing? Hey, boy. 
I think he's tired or he's probably gonna bark me on the head just now. <laughs> this is my very special yellow submarine and he's actually clipped at the moment so he's got a blue seal blankie on just to keep him warm. I bought him when he was a four-year-old and I've taken him up the grades. He's also thoroughbred off the track. He's agreeing with me and he absolutely loves his job. He really, really loves his jumping and he's agreeing with me again about how much he loves his jumping and he is quite a tricky horse. He doesn't like other horses and he's agreeing about that. He wears a compression hood and he is just so calm. He jumps all the warm-up jumps and yeah, he's currently jumping in the one meter tens and absolutely loving jumping the bigger jumps. So I'm excited for our future together. Make sure that you watch our next episode, which is going to be our away show at Sanera in Plettenberg Bay. This is my very messy desk. It's a work in progress. I studied teaching when I finished school and I taught horse riding in the riding schools. Eventually it just evolved into running Blue Steel, which has been an amazing experience. We are feed distributors of the Royal Feeds and our personal Blue Steel brand is just growing. And I must say, I absolutely love working with our team. Um, we're all just fun and we get on well and everybody just enjoys the work. My favorite part about working is that we have loads and loads of laughs together. We can make any situation light and happy and you know what, that's what life is all about. We keep the negativity outside and we are only positive and happy people inside the shop. And happy horses, happy customers and happy us. <laughs> Introducing Granny Sue. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Susie is our awesome sales lady who works in the shop in the mornings. I come in in the mornings and I check, the first thing I do is switch the radio on. Okay. Because I love my music. And then I go and have a little walk around the shop and I go and open your little office for you and I put the kettle on and I have a cup of coffee. coffee. And then I go back to my desk and I sanitize my money and everything <laughs> that I touch. You are the best at sanitizing the everything. cleanest money. I shake my little shook, 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 my little um, no money bag. Yeah. And then um, normally by then one, of the, one or two people come in and then they just come streaming in. And sometimes it's a little bit quiet, but most of the time it's very busy. And what is your favorite part about working in the shop? You guys. Oh. <laughs> I've never been interviewed before. <laughs> do you know about YouTube? Yes, I do. Okay. Have you subscribed to our channel? Am I supposed to say yes? <laughs> no. You, because I know you're not going to know how to. So, I don't know how to. <laughs> you need to get your grandchildren to show you how to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And... When you're looking at it on the computer, it's right over there in the little corner. And you need to hit the bell because then it notifies you when we post a new video. Trompy, tell me what you do here. I know you say you're the jack of all trades of blue steel. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. First of all, I'm, I'm Troy all the way from Club Plot, well known yet as, at Blue Steel as Trompy. So I've worked myself up and today I'm here at the Blue Steel office. Make sure that... Uh, our customers receive the parcels that they order from us on our web shop. Uh, yes, and I'm also make sure that we uh, that I print the, the, the tails for our blue steel rosettes, and not only for blue steel for our customers the order. So if you so you printing all of these yes, for us? Yes, yes. What a customer wants, we gave them. I have a good team here, Lungi and Cheston. Lungi's job is to make the, the rosette itself. Cheston's job is to cut the tail, and I need to make sure that every spelling is correct on the tail <laughs> and yeah so they are under my supervision uh, Chesson and Lungi it's great to work here at Blue Steel I quite enjoy it <laughs> we <laughs> like it when there's stock coming yeah. in hey? yeah. as you can see behind us we have lots of stock that needs stickering and all that and yeah. sorting and everything and you the man yes yes <laughs> so Tromps when you first started with us you were 18 yes that's correct you just finished school yes 
You were new to the working life. Yes. The funniest story I, I will never forget. Every lunchtime, you used to have a sleep in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Troms would find that wheelbarrow, park it underneath the tree and have a sleep for the whole lunchtime. And yeah. Uncle Charles had to wake you up. <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. <laughs> so my first show here at the riding club. So we, you need to lift the rider more than... So I need to lift Amy, so okay, for a few times I was a bit pop. <laughs> lift her, she was a bit heavy for me. But <laughs> We used to love about 40 kg bags here, and the body is get uh, used to that 40. So one day I've loved her and almost threw her right over the horse. <laughs> she almost fell. Yeah. <laughs> Juliet is our afternoon sales lady. That I am. Lucky me. And we are standing in her favorite spot in the shop, the feed room. Absolutely. I love the smell of teff and fresh feed bags. And what is your favorite part of your job? The clients. I love my clients. I love keeping them happy. And happy horses. Happy horses, happy me. Could you ever, like back in the day, could you ever think that you would ever work with us? Well, I'm very grateful to have been able to become a part of this team because before I just um, taught people to ride all day. Um, <laughs> as much as I loved it then, it was, you know, winter gets a bit cold. Yeah. Um, uh, it was the right time and uh, I love it here. I've been here for four and a half years as I said and never looked back and now that I'm a granny as well I can see that there are going to be plenty of ponies in my close f uh, near yes. future and more pony blankets for small <laughs> ponies and things like that so I think there's a long road ahead still. Yes, no, that's very exciting. And now Jules, do you know that we have obviously got the YouTube channel because we have you haven't stopped hearing about the YouTube channel. I hear a lot about the YouTube channel, and I do go and lot, watch quite a lot of oh, things. Oh, good. And, and have you subscribed? Rider of the Weeks and things like that. I have. So for those of you who don't know, and also for in future reference, you just subscribe and the little button on the bottom of the screen, and if you want to get notifications about the videos, you just have to click the little bell. Perfect. Do you have anything in particular that's funny or really nice about me. <laughs> and my most vivid memory of you was when you came to try out that beautiful Andalusian stallion that was at my yard oh, at Heatherbank yes. Road and you went across to Chris's uh, property to try him out. Oh yes, and okay. I think that was I think that was the beginning of your sort of dressage junior yes. career. Oh, that's a beautiful yeah. memory. Yeah. He was a special horse. He was, yeah. very. I'm Amy, we'll be featuring every second week. The Grooming Guru, Fitness Guru and Ride of the Week so will also pop up on the I'm Amy channel. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to stay in tune with all the fun that we have here at Blue Steel.